Before I get into Carrie Lake putting herself in possible legal trouble by tweeting out election misinformation, I have to let you know, Mike Lindell is now selling MyPillow 2.0. Yes, and it's only $89.98. Currently, buy one, get one free. Now, I watched a clip where he's trying to justify that, you know, he's not just trying to get people that already bought his pillows to buy new pillows. Oh no, these new ones are better due to technology, which is hilarious to hear from the anti-machine man who tried to make the saying, melt down the machines and turn them into prison bars, something people actually say. So yeah, he's trying to sell a 2.0. Now, Arizona Secretary of State is talking about the tweet you see behind me, and what they claim is that Kari Lake tweeted out ballot signatures of voters, which is a felony charge. It violates state law. This isn't the only controversy that's hitting Kari Lake very quickly. Her last campaign event had a man kicked out, a well-known figure online who harasses people for content about masks, vaccines, LGBTQ, etc. He was kicked out of the event. A lot of people thought maybe Carrie Lake's staff or Carrie Lake is now separating from him because they have been supportive before and taken photos together. It turns out it was actually the venue that kicked him out. And Kari Lake's senior advisor and Stop the Steal organizer, Carolyn Wren, is also reportedly facing a half million dollar defamation lawsuit because a man who came forward, I think his name's Matt Schlapp, who he came out against, he's a big Republican uh, donor figure, uh, came out with allegations against him. Carolyn Wren reportedly made claims about the man making the allegations. So now there's a defamation lawsuit going on. It is a mess for Carrie Lake and everyone in her surroundings. But I guess maybe, you know, if she finds out that she's going to go to jail for the felony, she could be quite comfortable crying into her MyPillow 2.0.